In this video we're looking at five simple Rolling Stones songs with just three chords. If you enjoyed this video check out my website where you can search for all my YouTube song tutorials and plenty of other exclusive ones as well by the chords you know and by the artists you know, by instrument, by genre, even ukulele songs or even just acoustic guitar songs for example. We've really put a lot of effort into tagging all the lessons and making this search really fantastic so I hope you check it out, the link is at the top of the description. And to start this video I actually want to give you a quick bonus song which is just a two chord song for the vast majority of it, like the first two minutes and this is Miss You by The Rolling Stones. That song uses just the A minor and D minor chords in the fashion that I played it there for the first two minutes, so definitely give that one a go. But the rest of these all have three chords, starting with perhaps the Stones' first breakthrough hit. This is Satisfaction. Satisfaction just uses the chords E major, A major, and B or B7. If you want to play a B chord any other way you know how, that's absolutely great, but beginners can use a B7. I have a full tutorial for that which I will link to uh, in the description of this video, so check that out if you haven't already. But let's get on with our next easy song. This is You Can't Always Get What You Want. If you try sometimes, well you might find You get what you need The original recording is in a different tuning and can be quite more complex than this but we can do a basic version of this just with a G major chord a C add 9 and then an A major chord which would take us through the vast majority of the song. Again I have a full tutorial exactly how to do that which I will link to in the description below. The next song we're looking at is Midnight Rambler which just uses three chords without a capo it would be a B chord, A major and E major. Did you hear about the Midnight Rambler? Everybody got to go Did you hear about the Midnight Rambler? The one that shut the kitchen door If you know how to play a blues riff like this You can add that to it with the same kind of chords but doing them more higher up the neck like this And if you're not comfortable with bar chords yet, just stick a capo at the second fret and we can play it with A, G and D and even add that little riff in. The final two songs on my list just use the E major chord, D major and A major without any capo or any retuning or anything and uh, we're going to start off with the last time.
this final song is called Not Fade Away, and it again uses those same three chords, E major, A major, and D major, but it uses them in something called the Bo Diddley Rhythm, which is named after the guitarist, uh, Bo Diddley, and he had a song called Bo Diddley, which had this same rhythm, and the Rolling Stones kind of based this song on that Bo Diddley groove. And it goes like this. I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be Now that Bo Diddley rhythm is quite tricky, it's really at an intermediate level. And this highlights that it's not just the chords that are in a song that make a song easy or difficult to play. There's a lot more things going on and I really believe in the philosophy that if this is something you're struggling, if you haven't got many songs that you know all the way through or you can't play along to original recordings, or if you're just getting started really, learn songs with fewer chords in them and get those chord changes really nailed and then build up all these other skills that you need like rhythm, strumming, uh, knowledge of where the song's gonna go like song structure and using different chord progressions in a song and if you're struggling just take any of those things out and filter them by fewer chords less structure and I've done all of that for you. I've taken all the hard work out of that if you choose to follow my song tutorials uh, and the best place for that is this song search page which I'll leave at the top of the description. I'll leave a link on the screen now as well. Let me know what other videos you would like and I hope to see you again in another one of those videos. Bye bye for now.